Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, explored quite a bit further, we had seen quite a few new things. Uh, we're going to continue doing that, of course, and uh, we're going to expand our empire really as far as I can really go. Uh, but considering how far we've spread, it's a little shocking. We've not seen any proper, for lack of a better phrase, more uh, stereotypical civilizations. We've run into a fucking, says independent for the CCC, but they're more of a uh, mega corporation that doesn't really do much and they're barely really a civilization on par with us as far as i'm concerned so it's really weird we haven't seen anything that would match us at least in the civilization department quite yet but that's probably going to change soon but other than that we're just finding strange crazy stuff and uh you know exploring it as you do when you do that construction complete hmm. oops wrong tab there we go uh where were they at i forget there they are they were doing that so we'll just have them build mining stations there and i guess we'll just move on to uh this one after that this is vigimar yeah i think that says vigimar there we go Man, my glasses are getting really bad. I really need to get new ones. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll have that as the next thing after. System reconnaissance completed. Caravan uh, is now explored. Apparently the planet there is an arid world. So eh, is what it is. Ooh. As suspected, the asteroid TLDR-3PO... Holds within it a great mass of metal and does indeed hide some manner of machinery. The gathered data clearly shows that its constituent parts contain great quantities of stored energy, but its purpose remains unknown. Proceed carefully. Ooh, Trojan Asteroid. Caution proved well in order. Hidden inside TLDR-3PO was a host of old mining drones programmed to attack on site. Science officer Dean Glass fortunately detected this early and was able to jam the drone's sensors long enough to disable them. The drone's cores are old indeed, but retain vast amounts of energy for siphoning. Hells yeah! Give that guy a promotion! Wherever he's at, System reconnaissance I have no completed. idea. Uh, added a four to somewhere. Surely wasn't Anomaly there. found. Oh. While scanning the asteroid belt, our science team found some sort of irregularity. Well, let's go with it. Look at what it is. Oh, it must have been here in Poa. Yeah, it was... No, no, it wasn't. It was an asteroid. Was it really in... Uh... Essium? As Isom, I guess, is the word. I guess it must have been an Isom. Yep, TLDR-3PO. Hmm, huh. interesting. I'll take it. I just didn't know it was that <laughs> that direction. Okay. At this point, we're going to end up owning, like, a third of the donut... That is the galaxy before we discover another civilization <laughs> at this rate. I mean, Jesus. Well, another proper civilization. I should clarify it with that. Still, it's impressive. Okay. System reconnaissance ooh, completed. Ooh, 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 ooh. We got two of them all in a row. God damn. Sensors pick up rhythmic movement on the hellish surface of Erasmod. Erasmodon 2. Erasmodon. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Fuck it. <laughs> Not pronouncing it how I want. Erasmodon. Uh. Mm. 
Interesting. Look into it. Now, the other anomaly that got overridden by the first one, well, the one we just saw, rather, this asteroid recently suffered an impact from another body within the asteroid belt, which resulted in a slightly changed orbit in a massive crater on the surface in the POA system. Let's look into what happened there. If it's enough of a uh, thing to want to explore, might as well do it. Okay, science ship Asmo, what were they doing? They're returning to the COBOL system. Oh yeah, because they don't have a scientist and I don't really have one to give them yet. Upon closer examination, we have discovered that a smaller asteroid consisting almost entirely of precious metals recently collided with AZ-117. This small but dense cache of metals was hidden just beneath the asteroid's surface, but now that it has been discovered, it should be accessible to mining. Hell yeah, lucky fine. Actually, let's look into if we can get a new scientist for them or not. We can. Hmm. Adrift. Among the asteroids surrounding B134399, we have discovered an alien ship adrift. It is not responding to our attempts to hail them. If this is due to being unable to interpret our signal, or some other reason, we do not know. Science officer Gaston Pellissier recommends that we get a construction ship to tow it out of the debris field. If left untouched, it risks being crushed by the asteroids. Uh, let's get right. it. Let's get it. Pranav Kuti. Pick them up to get that ship. Why not? And we'll have them explore this route. Why not? Just to see where it goes and what we get out of it. I don't see a problem with that. So, a construction ship. We have one orbiting there right now. Not doing anything. Where was that thing? Is it over here? It is. Okay. How long would it take them to get there? <laughs> That's a long time. I don't think we have that time. No, we do not. Okay, you know what? If that's the case, we'll make this one do it, because it's far closer, and we'll just have this one finish off what this construction ship was going to do. That seems like a good idea. Geothermal. The measured pounding observed from orbit is the motion of immense and ancient geothermal extractors breathing their last. Built and then abandoned at some point in the distant past, the vast batteries of disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. Their storage capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. Fuck yeah! Gets... We get some energy credits for free, and we can uh, examine how these were made. Awesome. Cool System shit. reconnaissance completed. Can't complain about that. No, no, no. System slightest. reconnaissance completed. Oh, yeah? Hey! Enough unity to adopt a new tradition in expansion. Alrighty. Uh, we could go this route, which would mean the next colony we make starts with one additional pop. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. That's useful, but not useful right now. Um, 
Actually, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that useful at all. But... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Anyway, we can start our uh, expansion of our empire with vastly more people. It's always a good idea. And that increases growth by 10%. Awesome. Hells yeah. Construction complete. Hell yeah. Then that means it's moving towards the... Uh, thing I wanted to do. Booyah. Ooh. Join them is uh, shaping up to be a very profitable little system for us. Nice. System reconnaissance completed. Temestra Badlands? Why the fuck would it be called the Badlands? That's not how that works. We're in space! The fuck? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Okay. System reconnaissance completed. Yeah. Pretty, uh... Pretty power... Uh... What's the System word reconnaissance Energy, completed. Uh, rich little system. Anomaly found. Them is. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from the craft can still be found within the impact crater. Let's look into what might have happened there. Anomaly found. Whoop. Ba -ba -da -da -ba this toxic and lifeless world appears to have once been inhabited by a moderately advanced pre-space civilization. The ruins of their cities are still strewn across the surface. Wow. Used to be... Used to be a pre-space civilization there. Until they blew Science it all the hell, I guess. Reports a new breakthrough. Ooh, hell yeah. Improved deflectors. Fuck yeah. Can't complain about that. Hey. Specialized combat computers. That'd be nice to have right about now. So would quantum energy states. But better computers for our for our combat means I could actually change what our uh, ships currently do. That would be nice. Active matrices tuned for specific combat-centric tasks greatly improve engagement efficiency. And basic combat roles. Recent progress in AI behavioral theory allows us to designate specific combat roles to our ship board computers. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Especially since it's so cheap to do as well. I don't see why not. Shit. Alrighty. Hmm. Guess these all need an upgrade as well. Ooh! Runaway greenhouse effect. Hmm. A runaway greenhouse effect, you say? Hmm. I wonder what could have happened. There is evidence that the current climate of Lyrum 2 is the cause of a runaway greenhouse effect triggered by massive amounts of pollution. The oceans have boiled away, and the planet is permanently enclosed in a dense cloud layer due to the thick atmosphere. Scattered ruins from the indigenous civilization can still be found on the surface, suggesting an overpopulated culture that perished in the mid to late stages of an industrial age. What a waste indeed. Hmm. Getting them upgraded now. Nice. Crashed scout craft. A small scout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There was no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists to believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. 
Although it is too damaged to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked clean by looters yet. We will study its design. Special project complete. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Once the ship drifting by B134399 had been towed out of the debris, we could send in an array, uh, a way team, array, fucking. <sighs> okay. That was my mouth fucking up, not my brain. We could send in an away team to investigate. It is a murder scene. Only one crew member has been found. A long-eared... A long-eared... Amphibian biped. Who appears to have been stabbed repeatedly. The ship is, by the death of its crew, up for grabs. It is fitted with very efficient thrusters the structure and design of which are beyond us at present. The vessel is not armed, seemingly having been used as a transport for important personnel. Important enough that they got assassinated on the ship! I guess. Mm. Repurposing it into an exploration vessel would be a minor undertaking. However, if we instead deconstruct it and study the engines in greater detail, we could maybe capture some of its genius and translate it into practical improvements for our fleets. I think y'all knew where I was going to go with this. Any way you can spread the good shit to all of your ships is better than just repurposing it for one little thing. Especially since we have already five science ships. Ships refitted. Actually, more than that, six. <laughs> we have... Plenty of science ships. We're fine. Alrighty. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to send this over here to do that. Then have them build a starbase there. And then we'll call that good and send them back. Cheris. Huh? Rather, Keris. Keris 3A. It's a small planet, but it's at least one we can have it on. No rare planetary features. No planet modifiers. Doesn't seem worth it to me. Sula 2, huh? Suya, rather. Suya 2. But it is a arid world. Damn it. Decently sized world, though. <sighs> if only. If only we could terraform right System now. System reconnaissance completed. Actually, can we? I thought... I think we have that... Yeah, we, we have that in the research cards right now. Eventually, we will be able to. System reconnaissance completed. But right now, we can't. Anomaly found. Jeez. Looking at Ocelus is just <laughs> depressing. <laughs> Jesus. There appears to be deliberately crafted structures on the planet's surface, pointing towards a past long forgotten. On Lyrum 3A. Huh. Were multiple planets in the system at one point or another habited? Hmm. I just noticed the fucking name of the anomaly is toxicity. The toxicity of our city of our city. Alrighty. Let's look into it. Why not? Alright. Okay, I just want to see Aslund. Let's Aslund 3A was too small. Okay, all right. Just wanted to look at it. That's all. 
Musida. Musida 2, what was that? It was a savanna world. System reconnaissance completed. Moderately sized. Yeah. Okay. Just have to keep that in mind, I guess. Stinda 3 was the good one. Hmm. The planet Lyrum 3A is a toxic wasteland, but our scans unveiled that it has not always been so. A now extinct civilization seems to have destroyed its home planet via a heavy reliance on climate altering fuels and toxins. Hmm. On a remote hill, close to a major city, we have found a lone active facility. A robot assembly plant, desolated and surrounded by military vehicles, so deteriorated they break upon touch. The facility is alien and mysterious, but could provide us with ample study material. The fumes lie thick. A cautionary tale, indeed. Alright. And this one had lush and a lot of good rare planetary features. But it was an ocean world. And that was why we were studying. That's right. I remember now. Oh, two science ships just sitting there doing nothing. Why, that won't do it all. Have them go this way. Then this way. Explore how far this goes. Then go right back around and go through the Badlands. Which still doesn't make sense because it's in space, but what the fuck ever. We'll then have them go around here. Go up here. And through that. And ta-da! them. I'm still surprised we still haven't run into a single civilization. Alright. Um, oh, that connects that way. Interesting. So this would be the cutoff point. Anyway. Um, we'll go here after that. Here. There, I guess. Then go here. Hmm. We might as well just go do the lap and meet our uh, other science ship over here. I mean, I don't see why not. It's not the most terrible idea. Okay. In that case, we'll do that, and then that, and then that, and then there. And just bounce around like that. Until it stops letting me plot a course. There we go. <laughs> All right. I was wondering why it was still letting me go. Okay. Seems good to me. Let us continue. System reconnaissance completed. Gaston Policier has noticed another weird irregularity in the Lyrum system. Seems to be a lot going on in the Lyrum system. Funny that it's just a few letters off from Lyrium. Huh? Don't you all think that's a little odd? Okay, well, <laughs> I had to link it to another game somehow, I guess. Okay. Also, I had to have a drink of tea a little bit. Our initial scans have caught an irregular signal reminiscent of our own distress patterns. Weird. Yeah. The amount of space I have looked at without seeing another civilization. I have to zoom so far out, I can't see the names of systems anymore. Oh. Ruined worlds. The ISS emissary crew have reported the presence of decaying orbital stations and multiple tomb worlds near the Hanari system. Whatever interstellar nation once inhabited the Hanari system 
appears to have collapsed into ruin long ago. Fallen Outpost is a junkyard of a planet covered in the irradiated, rusting remnants of demolished buildings, infrastructure, and vehicles. No higher life forms of life are recognizable. I, I kind of said life forms again, but no higher forms of life are recognizable. You might gain more insight into this lost civilization by surveying any similar planets in this and neighboring system. Curious. Anomaly found. Hmm. This one in the Crescent system. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Let's look into it. I don't see why not. Hanary. So that was up here. Lost in space. Issue special project derelict ship. The signal we intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around Lyrum 6. I was about to say 4. That's not the correct placement for 4. Blah, blah, blah. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. A special project has been issued to investigate what has happened to the crew. Intriguing. New sit rep. Well, I guess it's worth the shot. And then we'll have him continue on from here, I guess. Then there, then there, then, whoops, there. Yeah, then we'll have them go around this way. And some, unless something goes disastrously wrong, which is, I guess, always possible. Ah, it won't let me go further than that. Okay. That's fine. That was the one they're currently researching. Special project okay. complete. Oh, no. Having searched the ship and inspected the crew's remains, Science Officer Gaston Pellissier has deduced that the crew members must have killed each other. The solitude and confinement of space can break even the strongest of minds. Worrying. It's more worrying that I failed. This is a mission that I know very well. It has popped up at least five times in multiple playthroughs. Far more than that, honestly. Um, far more playthroughs than the instant popping up. Um, the fact that it's failed is not good. There is a way I can cheese it. To not kill Gaston Pellissier. First, I have to make sure, yep. Which was the name? Ariana. Okay. Okay. So, um, pull Gaston out of there, put Ariana back there. So that way we finish that. And we fast forward time until critical failure. We are receiving a distress signal from the ISS Trailblazer. The crew has gone mad and are killing each other. The captain has lost all control. Sending help would be futile at this point. Could this have anything to do with that derelict ship they recently investigated? Terrible news. There's a reason why I cheesed it. This always happens on a critical failure. Anytime you fail that particular mission, 
the crew will kill itself. And the ship. On passing it, which I have not done in a while, passing it allows you to figure out a brain parasite is aboard the ship. The brain parasite infects the crew and sets them off into a psychotic rage. That is what you can avoid should you succeed. Unfortunately, I have not had a success with this since the major update to the game. I don't know why, but it's never been a success in the last four playthroughs I've done where that one came through. Actually, it was the last three. I think one of them I didn't even get far enough to do that, but... Yeah, in the last three playthroughs out of the five or six that I've seen this particular anomaly pop up, and most of them were after the major update to the game, I have not seen anything even resembling success to these missions. So, at this point, I'm used to this. I'm very used to this, and that's how I figured out ways you can cheese it. But, uh, just putting it out there. Something to tell the, the uh, devs, I guess. Anyway. Science out of the way. reports a new breakthrough. And now they need a new ship. Gaston needs a new ship. And where is it? There it is, science ship. There we go. Close that. There we go. We have finished the research of destroyers. Hell yeah. While larger than Corvette's, destroyer hull configurations still make for comparatively nimble gunboats. Hells yeah. Alright. Robotic workers or long-range mineral scanners. Uh... And let's go with robotic workers. Why not? These robotic worker... <laughs> These robotic work units are perfect for menial labor tasks. They are hardworking and capable of following simple vocal instructions, but should not be expected to climb stairs. Uh, I've never read that part. Okay. <laughs> Gives us the robot assembly plants, which will then allow robots to be made on that planet. And gives us robotic workers. Robots are relatively simple machines, capable of accepting verbal commands, but possessing no true intelligence of their own. With the robotic worker technology, robot pops are only capable of simple workers jobs, such as mining and farming. So the uh, lowest worker jobs that are required to keep society running. That's what robotic workers do. There we go. We'll get them started on that. Thank you, Ariana, for getting that taken care of for us. And now we move to Ship Designer to create. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with. Sometimes the buttons don't, don't want to work lately. It's annoying me. The Panther class. Destroyer. 
We're up to fusion reactor. We don't have more than that. We don't have more than that. We don't have more than that. We don't have that more than that yet. We'll get there soon. And we shall put the Panther class destroyer with a gunship bow. Currently. And we will give them a gunship stern. Uh, for whoop. <laughs> Messing around with my headset <laughs> a little bit. Was trying to scratch my eye at the same time. We'll give them back here a coil gun. And do a small UV laser here, here, and here. Actually, you know what? We'll make these coil guns for this. And then we'll put this as a UV laser. Because the range on the destroyer will be 50 once we get the uh, proper computers put in. So. Yeah, that should work. All right. So, for this one, we'll put in a reactor booster, because we don't really have that much of a choice. Ah, my gods, my eye is acting up. Give me a second while I try to figure out what is wrong. <sighs> I had a damn eyelash in my eye. All right. Now let's get to making this. Just do equal parts, deflectors, and ceramo metal armor for now. We'll select auto upgrade. So, when parts are upgradable, it'll automatically do that. And save for now. And then we'll eliminate that one. And the Panther will be the only design for Destroyer class vessels. Yeah, that should work for me. I think. Yeah, that should work. All right. Onward we continue. Oh yeah, that's right. I'd almost forgotten. I should probably add the ship design to the fleet here. And we'll up that to about 10. Yeah, 10 should work. System reconnaissance and completed. We'll up this to 20. Construction complete. There we go. Fleet would be rather sizable at that point. But we definitely don't have enough fucking alloys to do that yet, so we'll put that off for a little bit. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Ooh. Finally, we now can terraform. And... Hmm. What should we have you working on next, Arnav? Hmm... Wait a minute. I just noticed something. No, 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 I'll, I'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> I have an Arnav and a Pranav. I just noticed that. Ah, uh, science runs in the family, I guess. Okay. What should we go with, then? Global defense grid is cheaper. Hmm. It is cheaper. We'll go with it. The strategic value of a good defense remains as relevant today as it was to our predecessors in the far distant past. Technology does not render fortifications obsolete. It merely changes their requirements. Uh, adds an empire modifier. That adds 25 health to the defensive army. That's always good. And a fortress is a building option. That will then create soldier jobs. Soldiers increase naval capacity and spawn defensive armies. Always good. Alrighty. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. A bunker bot. Hmm. 
We have traced the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Cressum 6 to a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. Our researchers su suspect that it may have been there for several thousand years, hard at work solving a single very complex problem, the nature of which still eludes us. When the crew attempted to interact with the computer, they discovered that the facility, which had appeared both abandoned and unguarded, was in fact operating by security AI, the highest purpose of which seems to be frying its visitors alive. Jesus. Mm. As the crew defeated the AI, it broadcasted a message to an unknown recipient. I mean... We could use it to boost our own research, but it would only last for 10 years. We could scrap the whole thing, or we can just let it continue its calculations. Just let it be, and get a whole bunch of influence out of it. We had better not disturb it. Whatever problem the computer is trying to solve, it seems important. We'll just let it continue its mysterious calculations. System reconnaissance completed. Sensors are reporting a number of possible points of interest within the debris field surrounding RLS H45. All right. System reconnaissance completed. Sounds good to me. And let's look. Oh, that ship's done. Awesome. We can get uh, Gaston on his way. Heading back to there. Nijiro. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. That was my bad. There's that. And then there's that. Here. 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 And here. And then throughout there. Whoopsie doodle. Nope, it won't. It'll only go that far. Okay, that's fine. Fine by me. Fine by me. Huh. Old timey tunes. A golden disc strikes the forward viewport of the ISS Arbiter as it is surveying the weak gravitational field of RLS H45. The object is recovered, and cursory analysis indicates that the minuscule grooves on the disc's surface might be encoded audio and video data, authored by some alien civilization. We could try to decode it. Or Xeno audio files would pay a lot for that. I mean, it would help with engineering research for sure. But it would add the soul coordinates to the situation log. And then we'd be able to find the soul system and what happens to our civilization. Interesting. Decoded. New sit rep. There we go. An alien artifact provides the coordinates for a particular system. Whatever beings sent the artifact into space seem to have originated here. It would be prudent to investigate. Question is, where are they? All the way out there. That's pretty far. <laughs> That's pretty far. I'm not going to lie. But it'd be interesting. Interesting to follow up on it. So that we shall. Forward, my science ships. We shall soon see 
what that system has to offer us. Whatever it may be. Anomaly found. Ooh. From Dean Glass, strong energy emissions of an unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest of its peers in this crowded asteroid field. Energy emissions. Let's look into it. Which one's the closest science ship right now? The one on Swar. I think that's how you pronounce that name, isn't it? Yeah, Swar. That's a hell of a name. I wonder. Ah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling there'd be no way to plot a course to it. Eh, at least not yet. But we'll just go along the path of least resistance right now. Try to plot our way there as quickly as possible. Just so we can see what's there. Or technically what's left. Whatever happens, whatever we see, it'll be interesting to find nonetheless. Anomaly found. Weapons target range. Asteroid LK-12-997 is pockmarked with craters from weapons blast and appears to have been used as a target range by someone roughly two millennia ago. Residual energy readings suggest they tested increasingly exotic weaponry, including subspace bombs and some kind of singularity generator. Our scientists would be interested in studying the unusual energy echoes that remain. Can't really blame them. Fritz Brinkman. Our initial survey of the ruinous core suggests that this planet is the fallen capital of a lost empire whose junkyards we have encountered prior. A more thorough investigation may yield further information. And the Paragir system. Fair enough. Anomaly found. Hmm. The Troidum system. A small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but it has since been exposed by micrometeorite impacts. I can't talk. Micrometeorite impacts. Okay. Well, let's look into that for now. But also for now, I'm gonna have to end the episode because we have gone quite a bit over time. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments if we bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and exploring the universe. Or at least this galaxy as much as we can. And now we have coordinates for a soul system. We will want to investigate and see what's up there. And uh, in the meantime, now we have terraforming. We could terraform that one planet to be more uh, akin to the planet type we would prefer. And otherwise, just exploring and expanding the galaxy, or at least our reach on the galaxy, until we no longer can. For you.